Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. Heat will transfer from a hot burner on the stove into a pot or pan. A metal spoon becomes hot from the boiling water inside the pot. Chocolate candy in your hand will eventually melt as heat is conducted from your hand to the chocolate. When ironing a skirt, the iron is hot and the heat is transferred to the skirt. Take our lead. Conduction in the atmosphere during the day, sunlight heats the ground, which in turn heats the air directly above it via conduction. At night, the ground cools and the heat flows from the warmer air directly above to the cooler ground via conduction. Make your mark, take our lead. Everyday examples of convection radiator. A radiator puts warm air out at the top and draws in cooler air at the bottom. Steaming cup of hot tea. The steam you see when drinking a cup of hot tea indicates that heat is being transferred into the air. Ice melting. Ice melts because heat moves to the ice from the air. Take our lead. For example, when a pot of water is placed on the stove to boil, conduction heat warms up the pot, which then heats the water molecules inside. As these molecules heat, convection causes them to move away from the interior of the pot as they are replaced by cooler molecules. Let's help you make your mark. Conduction is probably the most basic and intuitive way of achieving heat transfer. Something hot touches something cool and the cool thing heats up. For instance, the water in a pot boils when the flame from the stovetop heats the pan, and the heat from the pan is transferred to the water via conduction. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.